Hey guys, good evening. Thank you very much for joining today. Just give me one. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Just bear with me, guys, because for some reason it is um I'm getting the oh okay, I feel it. I'm using the speaker of the computer, and I don't want that. I want to use the headphones. Okay, I think that it's better now. So thank you so much. Guys, I'm going to um, begin with the class. It's, it's already eight o'clock. So welcome. It's a Monday, beginning of the week, right? And well, very much what we're doing is that we're going to be uh, beginning with, right? Our session number nine. And today is January 30th, right? And what we're going to do is that we're going to begin with a section, right? With a new section, which is section um, one, two, what's the first week? Last week was section three. Now we're moving to section four, right? And also I would invite you, right? I would invite you that if you have any questions, any doubts, anything that you would like to have clarified, you can tell me, right? And I'll be more than happy to clarify your doubts. So guys, um, pretty much what we did last week was very interesting. Uh, we were reviewing past models and we were using past models for the different, you know, um, uses, right, that um, we have in English. Also, last Thursday, well, I'm sorry, last Friday, um, we also picked through the exam, right, that we have, the midterm exam, and also um, we talked or, or mentioned, right, a little bit about vocabulary words when it comes to reactions. So that's what we did last week, okay? And today I'm going to begin with the attendance also. So I won't forget that later. Give me a second, let me look for the list. Let's see, I'm going to look for your list. Give me a moment. Preavanzado, preavanzado. Ustedes son los uh, casi los últimos. Aquí está. <laughs> Bear with me. Preavanzado. Okay. There we go. Okay, guys, I'm going to pass the attendance right now. Just say present if you're here. Alba Dir Portal Diaz. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Alejandra Elizabeth Mendoza Arias. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Francisca Garcia Nieto. Carlos Antonio González Nuila. Eh, Cecilia Elizabeth Guardado Gutiérrez. Here. Thank you. Ah. Claudia Marcela Linares Surguía. Here. Thank you. Diego Anthony Meléndez Mayen. Present. Thank you. Dina Esmeralda Ayala López. Eliu Fuentes Velarde. Present. Thank you. Erasmo Perla Mendoza. Jaime Dagoberto Barrera Guzmán. Jenny Lisette Campos Martínez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Carlos Rodríguez Linares. Present. Thank you. Jose Francisco Peña Peña. Hi, teacher. Hey, thank you. Jose Isaías Portillo Ramos. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Jose Jovito Torres Amaya. Mayra Lorena Portillo de Perla. María Susena Ayala de Flores. Marta Estela Díaz Sánchez. 
Marta Ruz, Enriquez Reyes. Marta Ruz, Enriquez Reyes. Present. Thank you. Marvin Joseph Salazar Alas. Present. Thank you. Nady Ibis Mendez Salveño. Rafael Antonio Morales Martínez. Present. Thank you. Rebeca Estefanía Pereira Flores. Present. Thank you. Rodrigo Antonio Meléndez Morales. Present. Thank you. Rodrigo Daniel Meléndez Mayen. Present. Thank you. Rosa María del Milagro Pérez de Paz. Sandra Patricia Merino Moreno. Present. Thank you. Jensi Marlene León López. Present, teacher. Thank you. And Zulma Beatriz Pérez Galdames. I'm here. Thank you very much, guys. Excellent. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi. Teacher. Hi. I'm here. Thank you, guys. Teacher, oh. yo me acabo de conectar. Acabo de venir, así que me acabo de conectar y creo que ya me había mencionado mi nombre. No worries. En la segunda, cuando pase, ahí solo me dicen present again. Pero ahorita no se preocupen. Recuerden que lo que les vale son los minutos conectados. Así que, ajá, no se preocupen. En el otro, cuando ya diga el nombre, ya ustedes se presen y ya quedan en la grabación. Pero okay. lo importante eh, son los minutos que ustedes se conecten. Eso es todo. No worries. You're welcome. Okay, guys. So in the platform, right, we have some different things that we're going to be working with when it comes to section four. I mean, section, um, yeah, four, right? And um, I don't know if you still have questions. I don't know if there was still, you know, any doubt, right? Or anything that um, probably was not clear enough or something that you would like to have repeated or explained. Mm -hmm. No? Okay. So, guys, we're going to talk about a very interesting topic, okay? And that is passive voice, right? Passive voice is so cool because I think sometimes we need it a lot. And it's very, like, it's not difficult. It's not complex. It's just that sometimes all what we have to do is to see how it works. And then you'll see that it's very, very clear. So I'm going to play the video right for the first um, for the introduction and from there we're going to start going through the uh, platform and also the manual. So if you haven't downloaded your manual, I would invite you to do so because actually you can find more exercises, more information besides the one that you have on the platform. Okay, so let me just share the sound and let's play the video. Keep on watching these videos. They give you a preview of what this section will be about. My name is Matthew Hawks and I'm a singer-songwriter. Making music is my creative outlet. The way I make sense of the world around me. When I sit down to compose, the first thing I do is tune my guitar. Once the guitar is tuned up and ready, I set up the keyboard. The keyboard has multiple functions and multiple sounds. What comes out of me is a reflection of how I'm feeling that day. Sometimes I can spend hours writing one piece. I'm writing this song. I titled it Revelations. When I sit down to write, one of the things I like to use most is a thesaurus. I started with the one word, Revelations. I look it up in a thesaurus, and I could have 10 words then, each with a different sound, each offering a different rhyme scheme for me. As I
Okay, so actually it seems that we can find more and more information related to the video, but what I want to uh, focus your attention, guys, it's that he is talking about the object. In this case, he's talking about the keyboard. He's talking about composing. He's talking about the tools he needs, right, to compose uh, music, etc. Now, the introduction is for you to see how he talks about the object and how he makes references of that object using passive voice, right? So he says something like, once uh, the keyboard is set, right? Or once everything is ready, right? Or once I find, once, once the, uh, I find a word, right? Um, the letters or the lyrics are um, interchangeable, etc. right? So in that case, we are talking about the passive voice. Passive voice has, you know, like two or three different characteristics, and we're going to check on that throughout the video, right? You can watch the complete video, not a problem, but it's longer. It's uh, five minutes and 16 seconds. But most definitely, you can go ahead and, and continue with that. Now, the objective, guys, it's for us to uh, practice, you know, uh, a little bit the passive voice, but in a different way. So it says in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about working in the movies using passive, right? Let's listen. Hi, if someone tells you that making videos or movies is hard work, would you believe it? Pay attention to Ryan and Nina talk about filmmaking. Movies are hard work. Part A. Listen and practice. Working on movies must be really exciting. Oh yeah, but it's also very hard work. A one minute scene in a film can take days to shoot. Really? Why is that? Well, a scene isn't filmed just once. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Only the best ones are used in the final film. So how many times does a typical scene need to be shot? It depends, but sometimes as many as 20 times. One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Wow, I didn't realize that. Why don't you come visit the studio? I can show you how things are done. Great, I'd love to. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else makes working on movies difficult? So, you see, it's not really as glamorous a job as people think. I guess. Okay, first, before we move to that part, let's go ahead and read the conversation, right? So, as you could hear, we're talking about making, or in this case, filming, right? Movies are hard work. Nowadays, we have access to lots of behind the scenes, right? Uh, videos and information about the actors and actresses that we like or love. And here we have the conversation between Ryan and Nina. So can I have two volunteers to read the conversation so we can review what we can find there? Okay, thank you, Alejandra, Jose, and El Eliu, and... We have more. No más en la mano. Okay, don't don't lower your hand because you are going to help me. So let's begin, Alejandra and Jose. So Jose, please help me with Ryan, and Alejandra, please help me with uh, Nina. And then Eliu in the second part. Well, once we finish, Eliu and Sandra will help us with Ryan and Nina as well. So Alejandra and Jose, you begin. Okay, we are going to start right now. Mm -hmm. uh, Working on movies must be really exciting. Oh yeah, but it's also very hard work. A one minute scene in a film can take days to shoot. Really? Why is that? Well, a scene it's filmed just once. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Only the best ones are used in the final film. So, how many times does a typical scene need to be shot? It depends, but sometimes as many as 20 times. One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Wow, I didn't realize that. Uh, why don't you come visit the studio? I can show you how things are done. Great. I'd love to. 
Very good. Excellent. Okay. Now I will I will pause with the uh, sentences that I want to drag your attention to, and now let's do it the second time. And very good job there, guys, with the with the pronunciation. So let's go with Liu. Help me with Ryan, Patricia. Uh, please help me with Nina, and then Rafael will help me with someone else. Okay. <clears throat> Working on movie must be really exciting. Oh yeah. But it's also very hard work. A one minute is seen in a film can take days to chew. Really? What is that? Why is that? Well, I think it isn't film just once. Love of different shows have to be taken. Only the best ones are used in the final, final films. So how many times does a typical scene need to be shot? It depends, but sometimes as many as 20 times. One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Wow, I didn't realize that. Why, why don't you come visit the studio? I can show you how things are done. Great, I love to. Very good, guys. Thank you so much. And last, Rafael and someone else, anyone else? Okay, thank you, Rodrigo. So, Rafael and Rodrigo. Rafael, you begin, and Rodrigo, you continue. Working on movies must be really exciting. Rodrigo, oh, can yeah. you hear? Oh, yeah, but I also very hard work. A one minute scene in a film can take days to shoot. Really? Why is that? Well, a uh, scene isn't filmed just once. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Only the best ones are used in the fi final film. So how many times does a typical scene need to be shot? It depends, but sometimes as many as 20 times. One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Wow, I didn't realize that. Why yeah. don't you come visit the studio? I can show you how things are done. Great, I did love to. Excellent, very good guys. Thank you so much everyone for participating in the conversation. Now let's go ahead and very quickly, very quickly, I'm sorry, check on some things about pronunciation, right? So working on Movitz must be really exciting and you know, I can hear that some of you um, pronounce that letter S at the end, but I would uh, strongly recommend to like emphasize, you know, for example, in the word scene, right? It's not a scene, it's scene. One minute scene in a film can take days to shoot, shoot, right? And then um, scene is an filmed, filmed, right? Lots of different shots have to be taken. So that is, that sound of the S at the end, guys, we need to, make a lot of emphasis okay so you can have a better you know outcome when it comes to the pronunciation and then everyone did a great job so thank you very much now let's go ahead and drag your attention guys to the passive boys okay give me a second let me open here let's see Very good. So guys, we have passive voice here and I would like to know if you are able to identify some examples from the conversation. Can you tell me some examples from the conversation that contain the passive voice? Anyone? Passive voice, examples of passive voice within the conversation. Me, teacher. Go ahead. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Okay, very good. Lots of, oops, sorry. 
lots of different what's going on with me today <laughs> different uh <clears throat> shots you said right needs to be taken is that what you said have to be taken right have to be taken have to be taken very good excellent okay so it says lots of different shots have to be taken thank you so much jenny anyone else yes only only the best one are used in the final film very good right only the best ones the best ones are used in the final film very good anyone else anyone that can identify another passive voice sentence within the conversation me one thing okay. might be shot from five or six different angles okay very good one scene one scene may be shot from five or six different angles very good one scene may be shot from five or six different angles very good excellent anyone else okay only that very good no worries we can um you know i can, uh, I can show you how things are done oh, repeat it one more time i'm sorry i can show you how things are done ah, okay very good i can show you how things are done very good excellent thank you so much okay so here we have taken four different examples from the conversation to talk about passive voice okay now guys uh can you tell me the tenses that we have here tenses mm -hmm. how many what what are the tenses oh do you know what is a tense guys no es tenso, ¿verdad? What is a tense? Tense? Anyone? No? It's like a time. Exactly. We have term. present, uh -huh. we have past, and we have future. So we have three different tenses. Very good. Present, past, and future. So we're talking about tiempos verbales, right? So guys, what are the different types of tenses that we have here? Passive. I'm sorry? Passive. passive. Yes, yes, we have passive voice, but for example, in the first sentence, what is the tense? Uh, have passive. to be taken. Have to be taken. Have to be taken. Yeah. Exactly. So in exactly. this case, we're so talking about. In this about... case, we're. Give me a second. Ahí está. Es que se oye repetido. So here, guys, we have the. Um, the tense, is it present, past, or future? Past. Past. Is in past, it's- Paris. Present oh. perfect. Present perfect. Present. Right. Oh. If it's past, we're talking about a completed action in the past. That is the requirement, right, in the past. That is the requirement or that is the rule if we're talking about simple past, okay, guys? For example, if I say, uh, I watched a movie yesterday with my daughter. I watched a movie yes yesterday with my daughter. So that is a completed action in the past. That means that it began in the past and it ended in the past, right? But in here it says, Lots of different shots had to be taken. Is it present perfect? Yes. Have to be taken. Well, in this case, no, right? They are just saying tienen que ser tomadas, right? Have, it's not an auxiliary, okay? Since have, it's not working as, as an auxiliary, this is not present perfect, right? 
Porque si fuera present perfect, estaría actuando como un auxiliar y no como un verbo. En este caso está como un verbo, no como auxiliar, ¿verdad? Lots of different shots have to be taken. Tienen que ser tomados, right? And as you can see, the person is describing, right, what, um, what uh, he or she does. So in this case, we're talking about present simple. Pero la razón, chicos, por la que estoy aclarando el tense es porque el present perfect lo tenemos en muchos tenses. En todos los tenses que hay en inglés tenemos passive voice, right? For example, here, look, one scene may be shot from five or six different angles. May be shot. Hmm. We're talking about models. Only the best ones are used in the final phone. Okay? So voy a borrar acá esto. Very good. Now, guys, tell me, what are the elements that you can observe in the passive voice? What are the different elements that you can find? Tell me. Mm -hmm. What are the different elements? What do I need? to make a, the passive voice? Adjective. An adjective? Do I need an adjective for a passive voice? No? Yes? A verb. A verb, a verb okay. And what is the verb that I need? The verb. Verb passive. Verb in passive. Yeah, the verb needs to be uh, used in the passive voice, okay? But let's see, guys. I'm going to remove everything. Voy a remover todo, okay? Have to be taken. Are used. Oops, sorry. May be shot. how scenes are done okay so what are the what is the common element that you can see in the passive voice in those chunks the verb plus the past participle okay and what is the verb the verb to be very to good be. To be. excellent okay so we're talking about the verb to be plus the past Partic participle of the verb okay um, Participle of the verb. Oh, what's going on? Bye, stuff. Okay. So these are the two main elements that I need in the passive voice. I need the verb to be and then the past participle of the verb. Okay. Now, the verb to be needs to be conjugated, right, in the tense that we need. For example, if I am talking about the past, I can say I can say something like that picture that picture could, could have por ejemplo el que acaban de ver hace poco los past models that picture could have been taken differently okay that picture could have been taken differently esa foto pudo haber sido tomada diferentemente or de una forma diferente. I think it's differently. Okay. Entonces, that picture could have been taken. Pudo haber sido tomada. Right. Entonces, that's the reason why I am specifying. ¿A dónde está el verbo to be? Acá. Been. Pasado participio. Taken. Right. So, in that case, we need to be um, very careful right in the way we use the passive voice porque la voz pasiva la tenemos para absolutamente todos los tenses media vez lo combinemos con el verbo to be de acuerdo now what happens here I have are used are used right in this case the order that we have in this type of sentences is going to be the, like this um, aquí está. Only the best ones are used in the final film. Esa es la, la, la voz pasiva, ¿verdad? Only the best ones are used in the final eh, film. Bye. 
Okay. Only the best ones are used in the final film. That is the passive voice sentence. Okay. Now here, what is the position? What is what is the element right that we include? <clears throat> okay. Over here, I have the best scenes, right? I can say only the best ones or the best, oops, sorry. The best scenes are used in the final film, okay? Now, con la voz pasiva, chicos, hay un switch, algo que se llama switch, quiere decir que hay un intercambio, right? And here, the object becomes the subject, right? El objeto de la oración se convierte en el sujeto de la oración, right? So, in this case, how we can make the active voice? ¿Cómo haríamos la voz activa de esta oración? Mm -hmm. The active voice. In the final film, okay. The best, the best, the best scene are is okay. In the final film, okay. No, but there we got the the, the passive voice. Allá vamos con voz pasiva. Yo necesito toda la voz activa. Are you using? Who? Es la misma oración, solo que la vamos a convertir a voz activa. <coughs> The final film are used in the best scenes. Okay, that's a good try. But still, it contains passive voice. So remember, this is the passive voice. Esta es la voz pasiva. Let me see. The passive voice. And I need the active voice. Active voice. Okay, so how would it be? Um, in the final thing, okay, use the best scene. Mm. Yeah. Who? The final thing, use the best scene. Okay, the final film. The final film, use the best scenes. Hmm, that could be a good idea. Very good. The final film used the best scenes. Okay, very good. I like that. Okay. Porque al final es lo que sucede, right? The final film used the best scenes, right? Aquí esa sería la voz activa. So teacher, what is the difference between the active voice and the passive voice? Okay. Vaya, nosotros estamos acostumbrados a hablar siempre con voz activa. Right? The final film used the best scenes. Entonces la pregunta es, ¿qué usa el, el, el final film? What? The, what the does, best scenes. Muy bien. What does it use? Ok. What does it use? La pregunta es, ¿qué? ¿Verdad? Y como les acaba de decir su compañera, la respuesta es... The best scenes. The best scenes. Muy bien, ok. Entonces, esta respuesta a la pregunta es lo que le llamamos el objeto directo de la oración, right? Entonces, en inglés, con la, poses, con la voz pasiva, este objeto se convierte en el sujeto. O sea, the object of the sentence, the object of the active sentence, becomes the subject of the passive sentence, ¿ok? Eso es lo que sucede cuando yo tengo voz activa y voz pasiva, ¿verdad? Entonces, el objeto de la oración se convierte, perdón, el objeto de la oración, ajá, se convierte en el sujeto de la oración pasiva, ¿right? Por ejemplo, aquí, the final film used the best, the best scenes, ¿ok? Esta es voz activa, ¿right? Y aquí tengo el sujeto, the final film, el verb, y tengo un objeto, the best scenes. So when I, when I come and I use that 
active voice para convertirla a passive voice me va a quedar the best scenes are used in the final film. Right? Entonces, este objeto que está acá se convirtió en el sujeto de mi nueva oración en voz pasiva. Okay? So, that's a little bit on how it works. Now, otra cosa importante de lo que ustedes me mencionaron es que es el verbo to be plus el past participle. Por lo tanto, chicos, it is mandatory for you to um, for you to use your uh, your list, let's put it like that, right? Of the past participle of the verbs, because actually you will need them, right? So, any questions so far? Preguntas hasta el momento? Questions? Mm -hmm. I need practice this. Yes, that's right. <laughs> yeah, passive voice needs a lot of practice. But any question, guys? Sure. Me quedo ya porque, ajá, yo sé que hay, pero no me quieren decir, ajá. Y si nos no, si no deja una lista de en Active Voice y nosotros la convertimos en Passive Voice para estar seguros, ¿sí? para practicar. Ya, a mí, no, de hecho lo que puedo hacer mejor es dejarles ese ejercicio que para que ustedes practiquen, ¿verdad? Que son unos links, pero se los ajá. compartiría hasta mañana, ajá. Sí, porque, I can do de, de practicar para porque siento que es un tema difícil para mí, por lo menos. Y con la práctica tal vez estoy más. Mm -hmm. Sí, sí, no, claro que sí. Mm -hmm. I can share some links with you, ok. No hay, no hay problema. Puedo compartir unos links. Espero mañana, quiero ver. I'm not lo, sure lo, lo que ha quedado claro es que, que el, el passive boy se usa el verbo to be en... en en diferentes conjugaciones, en diferentes, uh -huh. en diferentes usos. Muy bien. Uh -huh. Y puede usarse en el presente, en el pasado y en el futuro. Puede Correct. Usarse. Correct. Y siempre tenemos que usar el verbo en paz, el, el verbo en, en paz, participio, en pasado participio, no, en, en el tiempo ese pasivo. El verbo yeah, pasivo. Pas participio. Yes. Uh -huh. That's right. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And exactly, as you put it, like, like, like um, we need to understand, right, the different elements that we include. And also, we need to remember that it can be used in any tense, like right now, I just did it and you just didn't notice it, right? It can be used in so many ways, I mean, in so many tenses, right? And all what we have to um, do is to um conjugate the verb to be. Okay? Porque aquí lo que se conjuga en sí es el verbo to be, right? Uh, I will give you an example. And for some reason people tend to think that the passive voice is difficult. But actually it's it's not. No lo es porque es parecido parecido, ¿verdad? Solo los elementos en español, ¿verdad? Um por ejemplo mi mamá, ¿verdad? Mi mamá o oh, mi hermana, ¿verdad? Mi hermana hace el almuerzo, eh, digamos, los fines de semana. ¿Ok? Yo sé que estoy hablando español, pero quiero que vean que así funciona. ¿De acuerdo? Entonces, tiene aquí... Um, los diferentes elementos, tengo el sujeto, tengo el verbo, etcétera, y tengo el objeto, right? Mi hermana hace el almuerzo los fines de semana, ¿verdad? Mi hermana haciendo el subject, 
hace el verbo, ¿verdad? El almuerzo, el objeto directo de la oración, porque contesta la pregunta, ¿qué hace el almuerzo? ¿Verdad? Los fines de semana. Eso, fin, los fines de semana, I can do, I can leave it like that. O se lo quito para que no, no, no le demos tanta vuelta. Luego tenemos acá, eh, um, lo vamos a pasar a voz, a voz pasiva. Right? Y yo digo, el almuerzo, el almuerzo es hecho por mi hermana. Y prácticamente el el objeto de la oración se convirtió en el sujeto de la, el, perdón, el objeto de la oración activa se convirtió, se convirtió en el sujeto de la voz pasiva. Y si ustedes se fijan, en ningún momento en la primera oración yo usé el verbo to be. ¿De acuerdo? Aquí lo necesito porque para la voz, para la voz pasiva necesito tener el verbo to be. El almuerzo es hecho por mi hermana. Ah, de verdad, qué rico le quedó, ¿verdad? Excelente. Entonces, el almuerzo es hecho por mi hermana. Acá es lo mismo. Miren, necesito verbo to be, ¿verdad? Y el pasado particip participio del verbo. O sea, los dos elementos que yo necesito en español son los dos elementos que yo necesito en inglés. ¿De acuerdo? Y lo mismo va a pasar si yo uso, si yo paso esa oración en inglés, ¿verdad? My sister, my sister prepares lunch, ¿ok? Um, and then I can, you know, convert it to passive voice and I can say lunch. Lunch is prepared by my sister. Okay. Ahora bien, aquí viene algo que se llama el objeto, el agente, perdón, the agent. Okay. The agent. Um, ya lo que es la parte de la gente o the agent in the passive voice, ¿verdad? We need to be, um, we need to be aware that we have different um, agents, ¿ok? Entonces está el, el agent que yo quiero mencionar, ¿right? Um, hay uno que es sobreentendido, ¿right? Uh, for example, if I say the man was arrested. Y si yo y si yo quiero saber por quién, ¿qué va a ser lo primero que voy a pensar? ¿Por quién? Si yo digo the man was arrested. Exacto. Exacto. Entonces, ese es el agente que se sobreentiende, que no necesito decir porque se sobreentiende, ¿verdad? Entonces, cuando yo necesito utilizar el agente, yo lo puedo incluir. Lunch is prepared by my sister. So it's important for you to know that it's my sister, right? Que es mi hermana, pero no es mi mamá, sino que es mi hermana. So it's for you to know, para que sepas quién es, ¿verdad? Entonces, that's the way how it works, ¿verdad? Así más o menos es como va funcionando. Y como ustedes pueden ver, es bien similar, ¿verdad? Lo que tenemos nosotros como passive voice en español, ¿verdad? ¿Alguna pregunta? Questions? No, very good. Past teacher is, is I, I can say my sister pre, prepare como en pasado the lunch. Yes, it's the same. It's, I take this one. Oops, sorry. Uh -huh. And oops, sorry. I take this one like this uh -huh. and I bring it here and it's the same. You see? My sister prepared lunch, lunch. He was, was prepared. prepared by my sister. Uh -huh. Aquí es igual acá y acá porque como es un verbo regular, los verbos regulares son iguales en pasado y en pasado participio. My sister prepared lunch. Lunch was prepared by my sister. Uh -huh. Yep. Any other question? No questions. Okay, por el momento. But there was a question in the in the what over here with the I mean in the WhatsApp group. Uh, 
And that was with, I think it was 4.4. .4. ¿Verdad que me habían dicho 4.4? .4? Yes. There we go. Give me a second. Sí, aquí estoy buscando en el grupo. And it says 4.4. 4 y luego dice exercise 2. Ok, 4.4. Exercise 2. Acá está. Ok. Bye. So, let's go ahead and check this one. Eh, aparte de ese 4.4 en el número 2, ¿hay alguna pregunta con los demás, chicos? ¿O solo ese? One, two, three. One, two, and three. Okay, very good. Bye. Okay, it says instructions. The sentences below describe how a movie is made. Complete the sentences using the passive. No capital letters, no period needed. Okay, follow the example. To complete the script, it has to. Well, here you have the um, the answer, right? Divided into scenes, right? It has to be divided into scenes. To complete the script, it has to, aquí ustedes responden nuevamente, be divided, divided mm -hmm, into scenes. What about number two? The film and details need to? To be. Need to be uh -huh. written out. Written. Written. Uh -huh. Out. out. Uh -huh. Entonces, en este caso es, es past participle, ¿verdad? The filming details need to be written out. Very good. First, an outline of the script has to? To be prepared. Prepared. Be prepared, right? Prepared. Be prepared. Very good. And then, no sé si hacemos todo el ejercicio o hasta ahí, chicos. The next. Okay. So, next, actors are cho chosen. Very good. Next, actors are chosen. Very good. Locations. Locations are picked. Are picked. picked. Mm -hmm. Very good. Costumes. Cost are designed. Very good. Are designed. Very good. Are designed. Next. Next. Is 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 expanded. Is expanded. Very good. The outline is expanded. Next, number eight. Is completed. Is completed. Is completed. Mm -hmm. It's completed. Oops. Mm -hmm. A director is, director is hired. Is hired. Is hired. Hired. Then the final film you see on screen. Is Is, right? Because we're talking about one film. One so film. The final film so you see on screen is created. What about number 11? 11? Is composed. Is composed. What about the last one? After the film is one. After the film is finished. Very good. Yes. Excellent. Thank you so much. Excellent. Thank you. Es que apagué un micrófono porque se oye eco, perdón. Very good. So in that case, right, um, as you can see, we have included just the verb B. And the past participle, be divided, be written out, be prepared, 
are chosen or picked or designed is expanded is complete is hired is created is composed and is finished let's go ahead and see and as you can see all of them are correct okay all of them are correct do you have any questions or any doubts questions or doubts no question please. very good no questions excellent okay so in that case, that's the way how we are going to be using the passive voice. Obviously, here in the exercise or in this section, <clears throat> right? We have it like um, just to identify those two elements. I mean, definitely we can practice by right, more exercise. So right now, I would ask you please to write down two examples and write them down on the, on, I mean, in the chat, please. I'm going to get some water. Just give me one moment. Please write down two examples in the chat of the passive voice. Give me a second. Thank you, guys. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to get sick. That's the reason why I'm having a sore throat. The final exam is made in the six creo que is made uh, is done es que quiero ver si es done es que me equivoqué más adelante ah, ah okay uh -huh. the final exam is done in the last week of class okay of classes right the book was written by my niece muy bien my dinner was made by my daughter the money was taken. Very good. The email was typed. The email was typed like this. Was typed by Elizabeth. Um, the helicopter was used in the rescue, right? Okay, very good. Okay, so it like was typed, right? Porque si no estamos diciendo que el email estaba digitando a... Bah. This is in this case, the email was typed. The house was painted, correct. Very good. The house was painted. More examples. Let's see. The computer was fixed. Fixed. Like this. Fixed. Mm -hmm. Very good. What else? The lesson. Let's see. 
let's see, the lesson was taken by the students. The lesson was, the lesson was taken. I'll give it, was taken. Acordémonos, es past participle. The car was dented. Uh -huh. The car was dented. Very good. You know, like those times whenever you go somewhere, somewhere, you know, and you park your car and all of a sudden you come out of the store, come out of the supermarket and you find a dent on the car, right? So that's so, so sad because you don't even get the chance to see who the person was or to see if it was possible to do something about it. But anyways, today's class classes, bye was given by a different professor. Está bien la idea, solo que estamos diciendo clases, o sea, es un plural. Today's classes were given by a different professor. All of my lunch, lunch of the week was done in the Sunday evening. Sí, creo que entiendo la idea. Sería all my lunch boxes, porque creo yo que son almuerzos, lunch boxes. Ok, for the week. Pero a lo mejor lo voy a corregir aquí. Me voy a corregir esto. Eh, voy a pasar para acá mejor. Bye. Uh, today's classes, aquí, este. Today, cl today's classes were, oops, were given. Okay, were given by a different professor. Creo que aquí lleva otra F. O oh, no, prof. Professor. No, está bien así. Tengo la buena mental. All my lunch, bye. Aquí vamos a borrar que es la hora y quién lo dijo. All my lunch boxes, diría yo. Todos mis almuerzos o mis depósitos, ¿verdad? All my lunch boxes of the week were done in, in the uh, Sunday evening. Okay. My car was crashed by my knees. Uh -huh. Esa está correcta. Um, the letter is written by Carlos. Uh -huh. The letter is written by Carlos. Muy bien. Eh, Cecilia, ah, no, ese es el nombre. No. The food was bought by my mom. No, my mom. Right? Eh, su, ah, no, aquí está el nombre de ella. Then, our planet is wrapped in a mass of gases. Right? <laughs> yes, that's totally true. Then that plane is made by many men. Muy bien. Excellent. So all those were correct. Very good. I think you have a better good idea on how it works. Okay. Now let's go ahead and um, stop here. But tomorrow we're going to continue. I will pass the attendance again. Right. And then... We're going to uh, meet tomorrow to continue with the rest. So let's begin. Alba Dir Portal Diaz. Yes, here teacher. Thank you. Alejandra Elizabeth Mendoza Arias. Present. Thank you. Ana Francisca Garcia Nieto. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Carlos Antonio González Nuila. Present teacher. Thank you. Cecilia Elizabeth Guardado Gutierrez. Here. Thank you. Claudia Marcela Linares Urquía. Here. Thank you. Diego Anthony Melendez Mayen. Present. Thank you. Dina Esmeralda Ayala López. Present. Thank you. Eliu Fuentes Velarde. Eh, Erasmo Perla Mendoza. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jaime Dagoberto Barrera Guzmán. Here. Thank you, Jenny Lisette Campos Martínez. Present, teacher. Thank you, José Carlos Rodríguez Linares. Present, teacher. Thank you, José Francisco Peña Peña. Present. Thank you, José Isaías Portillo Ramos. 
Present teacher. Thank you, Mayra Lorena Portillo de Perla. Present teacher. Thank you, Mayra Lorena Portillo. Ah, oh, no, ya, verdad. María Susena Ayala de Flores. Present. Thank you, José Jovito Torres Amaya. Present. Thank you, Marta Estela Díaz Sánchez. Eh, Marta Ruth Enrique Reyes. Enrique Reyes. Present. Thank you. Eh, Marvin Joseph Salazar Alas. Present teacher. Thank you. Nady Ives Mendez Alveño. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Rebeca Estefanía Pereira Flores. Present. Thank you. Rodrigo Antonio Meléndez Morales. Present. Thank you. Rodrigo Daniel Meléndez Mayen. Present. Thank you. Rosa María del Milagro Pérez de Paz. Present. Thank you. Sandra Patricia Merino Moreno. Present. Thank you. Jensi Marlene León López. Present teacher. Thank you. And Surma Beatriz Pérez Caldames. Present. Thank you very much, María. Teacher, Estela don't, don't call Pérez. me. Voy, voy, espérame. María Estela, ¿qué dice el mensaje? María Estela Díaz dice present, no me quiere encender. María Estela Díaz, permítame. María Estela, aquí está. Dígame a quién no mencioné, perdón. Mi. Ah, ok, Rafael Antonio, disculpe, ahorita lo agregamos. El U está presente, lo que pasa es que se me trabó el, el mouse. <ríe> no, no se preocupe, aquí ya le pusimos que estaba presente. Vaya, chicos, bueno, instituimos casa llena, todos están aquí. Excelente, así que, thank you very much for joining today, guys. Have a good night and let's meet tomorrow, okay? Bye, bye, guys. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. 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 bye.